Hi guys, it's Monica. This is going to be a keto diet update and I have not lost anything um, this last week and that's okay because it's been really humid and I'm still thinking I'm retaining water but I did get on the scale and I'm absolutely the same. However, um, I can tell that, you know, especially on my bra, <laughs> You know, I can tell I've gone down in my sizes everywhere. My pants, my tops, my my undies. So a lot of people have asked me to um, share what I really use and what I do um, on a regular basis. So everything that I do, you know, doubly, you know, check it out for yourself because you know if it's going to be for you or not. I eat very low carbs as much as possible. Like I'm trying to keep my 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 total carbs under 20 grams a day. I don't always succeed in that. I do take supplements. I do take magnesium, potassium, I take my calcium and all of that. But one thing that I've done, and I started taking either, I can't really remember if it was late January or February, but I started to take this product. It's collagen. So I, I take this twice a day. I take it with water, kind of warmish water, not ice cold water. Um, it doesn't really have a flavor. So it's easy for me to drink. So I do that like first thing in the morning, I get up, I take two tablespoons. Last thing at night, I take two tablespoons. So I started either the tail end of January into February. I noticed within a month that dry patches, now this was still in the winter time. So I normally have these, this issue with my elbows. I, you know, in the winter time, especially they're dry, they're flaky, they crack. Sometimes they get caught on long sleeve shirts. Um, it really, really hurts. And um, I noticed about a month into taking this that all of a sudden my elbows, they felt really smooth. I couldn't believe it because it was February and they were like smooth as a baby's bottom. So I continue taking the product. The, the re, you know, it is known to be good for your hair, your skin, your nails, your joint care. So after a while, my husband started to take it as well. And now he swears by it. And one of the things that a lot of people have noticed, you know, almost seven months into me taking this, I've had compliments on my hair seems thicker, looks thicker. My skin seems flusher or fuller or whatever. And uh, I fully believe that is the byproduct of the collagen. My husband's joint pains, when he overdoes it, he can still feel some joint pains for sure, but in general, this works so much better for him than any other product he's tried. So he's an avid golfer. He usually likes to walk for his exercise. So this has really made a difference. The other thing I do is I take MCT oil. So I think sometimes it's really hard on a ketogenic diet to get enough good fat. It's easy to get bad fat, but good fat. So the MCT oil, I, I take this every day. I actually do a uh, bulletproof coffee in the morning. I know I've mentioned that before. Where I have my coffee, I have a, um, an ounce of MCT oil, an ounce of Kerrygold butter, usually salted. Uh, but I like the Kerrygold butter salted. And I mix that with my coffee with an immersion blender. And I drink that. This is my traffic. And I drink that first thing in the morning, and it's like, it holds me for a long time. It holds me till about 10.30. Uh, I also use on my skin coconut oil. So I use coconut oil for almost everything. I use it for, um, you know, uh, oil pulling, you know, for your teeth. Uh, I have a container of it. I, I scoop out and put a container in it. I use it as a moisturizer. I have another container that I use just on my face with this stuff. And I also will use it in, you know, cooking and stuff like that. And if I, if I make like a keto bar or fat bar or something, which I've been starting to make on my own, I kind of use this in my Kerrygold butter and things of that nature. So other than the vitamins and these things that I'm showing you, my day is typically, typically good fat, higher fat content, but good fat, I, I, not bad fat and very, very low carbs and moderate good protein. And um, I feel great. So, you know, yeah, I've lost 26 pounds. The inches are, I, I wish I had measured correctly, but the inches are huge. I've gone down a size. 
um, since I started January 1st. My hair, even my hairdresser says your hair does look feel it look and feel thicker. And, um, you know, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I just feel great on it. So I wish I could say I lost a pound this week, and who knows, maybe it's still going to happen because of the humidity. But that's the scoop so far. I'd love to know your tips. Oh, another thing is I never, I use a sweetener. I use like Easy Sweet, uh, the drops. Um, I can't find a stevia blend that I like. I, I don't know. It gives me an aftertaste. So I use the, um, the Easy, you know, the Easy Drops. Somebody had told me about that a while ago, and I never use the powdered uh, sugar substitutes at all because there are hidden carbs in that. So I'm very, very well aware of hidden carbs in my life. So that's the scoop. That's my, my keto scoop. Um, you know, doing what I can, staying healthy. I walk a lot. I do walk at work. This week I walked in Exeter and I walk the rail trail in Londonderry. Uh, you know, I go to the gym when I can, although I have been slacking on gym visits. But that's um, staying active, doing whatever I can, even if I'm doing calf raises at the office or squats, which I do a lot and I have weights. Um, doing whatever I can to stay active. So, hope you have a, a great day.